Talk program is such a luxury because it brings together a group of very passionate, um, talented teachers who have spent a lot of time um, thinking about and researching and experimenting with how best to teach uh, Chinese language to a variety of students. And this program gives us the um, freedom and the, the setup to experiment, to work with others, to try it out in the classroom, to see what works. And um, the students who come are very good too. And so it's sort of an idealized uh, school setting in which we can hone our skills. Of course, we're very grateful to StarTalk, to the StarTalk program for um, keeping us in touch with the current bre uh, best practices of the field and um, working with us to, as much as possible, um, make our curriculum and teaching practices align with the current best practices. And it's the support from StarTalk and from our Confucius Institute that uh, make all of this possible. I feel it as reading. It says um, it allows students to take ownership of what they do. Um, they they complemented the learning environment. The students complemented the learning environment. They talked to uh, all the students, right? They said that the, the students said that they felt very, very nurtured. They felt um, supported. They felt that their time here is well spent. <laughs> this is the summer vacation, and it's <laughs> many of us. The time here is well spent. They said, one kid said, um, we learn more in three weeks than we learn in an entire semester back in school. And his, his friend said, whole year. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not three weeks. They haven't had three it's weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They said that the rate at which they're going, they're going to learn more in three weeks mm -hmm. than they did the whole semester. And they feel like they're making progress. So they're, they're happy with the kind of progress they're making. Right? So, so um, it's, a, it's a really, really, really good report. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they said that uh, they, they feel that the Star Talk principles are fully realized. Um, target language use by teachers and students is between 95 to 98 percent, even by students in the lowest class. Um, oh, they, 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 they go beyond the word level, even the lowest class, and they're using phrases. And they see the, all three modes integrated all day long in every class. I hadn't even realized that. I thought, you know, in listening was interpretive and speaking was interpersonal. But they see it integrated in every, in every class. Um, they complemented the media lab. They said that it's a, a, it provides a daily record of student progress. Okay, um, and uh, the student get the students get daily feedback. Uh, by, by the work that they do in the media lab. It's automatic differentiation because um, every student gets the same task, but every student does it differently based on their interest, based on their ability. Automatically, um, yeah. So they control the amount of input that they, that they put into the media lab. So, um, okay, so as, um, create a common, and they said that uh, last year they had recommended that we create a common target set of language, like that, like um, what 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 are also have done for common language? So, yeah, and stuff like that. So they they think that we've done it. They they see the common set of language being used in all the classes. Encourage teachers who teach the speaking classes to consistently include or culminate in an interpersonal task. An interpersonal task is conversation, right? So in the speaking classes, the last thing you do, everything leads up to it, conclude in an interpersonal task. Okay. Um, 
because that's very important for novice and intermediate level speakers. Okay. So let's let's do that. For for every speaking class, um, the the most important activity at the end, everything else builds towards some sort of a communicative interpersonal task. So that's that's their recommendation for for um, that's the major recommendation for the speaking pro for the student program. And then they they have little recommendations. They said um, we should do a survey of the students to find out when they would like camp to begin and when they would like it to end. Morning. <laughs> Nine might be too late. Five thirty might also be too late. They they, they suggest they suggested I guess maybe by, by talking to the students that everything be moved up a little. Eight thirty. Eight thirty move it up and end it earlier. We're sort of starting eight thirty now, right? With the show <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I can do that. I can I can take yeah. it. I can have them do yeah. it. Yeah. Because some of the students don't get here very early. Uh -huh. Before eight o'clock. Yeah. 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 Yeah.